All right, pay attention to me for a second. I need you to settle an argument for me. I'm about to use a reference that I'm sure most of you would get like that. My wife, however, disagrees. And I need you to let me know in the comments section, did you get it or not? I'm standing in what's left of my shop, my shed. It's collapsing from termite damage and hurricane damage. And we've been stripping sides off of it salvaging what sheet metal we can out of it saving what wood we can off of it that's gonna be some new interior walls for new one we got a 30 by 40 pole barn coming this is gonna be a work in progress we're just getting the roof up and we'll build sides as we go this is the last time you'll see this thing though except for if i do a demo video that might be coming but here we go with this and roll that beautiful bee footage Back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life and where today we have a beautiful day for a cutout and I hope where we're going the guy has his dog Cujo put up I don't know what the dog's name is but it's exactly the dog from Cujo it's aggressive and it's big and ugly and it's tied up right next to where I'm gonna be working so and I'm gonna be on the ground too so if that dog gets loose one of us is gonna die <laughs> <laughs> so that's where we're headed today we're going to take some bees out of a motor home right next to cujo's tie out spot and uh should be a good one i know that's right pulling up here next to my spot no bounder motor home we got bees coming in on this side and going and building underneath the other side. He doesn't seem to mind what I have to cut up to get to them. But they're in a hard spot to get to, so here's my day. That's where they're crossing. I know where they are. I want to try to get to them underneath. I'm going to see if I can get under there. And hopefully there's a, I don't know, maybe a plastic liner or something. Uh, of course. I'm going to do it from the top. The bottom sheet metal with the refrigerator and all, this, all these appliances being right here. I don't know what kind of tubing and all is running oh, through yeah. there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't want to go gut and stuff. And, all right. Yeah, so oh, I, got, I got an angle grinder and a sawzall, and I think either one of them could potentially start a fire on this thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get the whole thing out. Yeah, that's what you're going to have to do. Put the refrigerator stove back where they was at, but... This thing's had bees in it for a long time. <laughs> he says it, bro. You see all the dead, dead bees in the bathroom sink? There's the dead bees in there? In the tub. They've been here forever. They can't get out and die, though. Yeah, they get in here and get to the window. And some bitches don't but, uh, sting you bad? Oh, uh, sometimes. This is going to be a hard part right here. The heat signature comes out to here, but it goes that way. And we've got a furnace down here, refrigerator here. Give that thing a few minutes to cool off in there. Let's let some air blow through it because it's hot in there. This shirt right here. Elizabeth bleached the sleeve on her back. So then every time I wear it, everybody thinks everything's. They think the whole thing's saturated with sweat except for that sleeve. Boy, you've been working, haven't you? <laughs> Let me go plug, get one off my boat. All right. Mine have a like plug in there. Let me go look. I, th I think I'm on some 
framing right here somewhere, but I can't tell. I know I just dulled a blade. It still ain't cool, but it's cooled off a bunch in here. It's bearable now that we got some windows open and some air flowing in here. So this ain't too bad to work in right now. We're in the middle of the day. It's straight up noon almost. Tell you what though, sawdust on this old cheap vinyl is slippery. One time when I was a kid, about 12, 15 years old, we had over a thousand roosters out here. Feed them by hand, water them by hand. Horses, cows, pigs. How many horses y'all still got? Oh, right here, the farm on this way. My sister, I don't know how many she's got. I got four. I got two, three miniatures out there. Need one? No, I don't think I'd fit on one. I'm Double floor? Straddling a beam or something. Come up sideways. Holy. Back out. I don't know if you can get them to that of there. <laughs> it ain't gonna be easy. Sucker, honey loaded. See, honey run. Them two things ain't gonna be enough, are they? No. Go get two big pots. Right. Man, I tell you what, this is gonna be a chore. Not the bees so much as the space to work. I'm in between tanks right here. This might turn out to be undoable without tearing out this refrigerator and cabinet section. Say you want to do a high removal on a camper. I don't think you do. I did wash my hands first. It's got a super mild flavor. Doesn't even really taste like honey all that much. sawdust taste of treated plywood <laughs> let's go a little deeper back here where the sawdust didn't get some dark honey you gotta get a bunch of it to taste it it doesn't have much flavor at all it's not bad it's just very weak flavor that's how you do it though, when you rip a rotten floor out of an old nasty camper and a hive next to the gray water tank, you just gotta taste it. I'm trying to get out of here, ain't you? Yes, sir. You want me to get in over here? I ain't worried too much about them. I gotta get a bunch of these out of the floor so I can work on this. I can't understand you. You ain't the only one. We got light drawing them out because they used to they used to travel in this floor I just cut up to go out. So now that this floor's up and they see light up here, they're coming inside instead of going out. Yeah. It's a good thing we didn't try to cut the bottom because we got two tanks here and a bunch of wire. I might have ruined some tanks. <laughs> yeah, it's deeper than it looks. I, I must have been looking at the top of a framing board or something over here. I see another one in there. It looks like the whole space is about 12 inches deep, maybe. Come on. This thing tucked up in there. I gotta cut it two ways to get it out. Try to slide it sideways off of that next piece. Pull it straight up, hopefully. It's heavy and soft. It's 
it's gonna be interesting getting all that out of the back without cutting all this out some of you may relate I done got down here that pot's full of honey I need another pot they're back there <laughs> if you're small you probably won't get that not much room to move in here but my legs crossed my foot touches the seat and my knee touches the cabinets this was their travel way to get out before I took the floor up. See the dark on the floor? That's where they've been walking uh, in and out through here. So now we got that open. They're not using their travel way to get in and out anymore. They're coming in that way, but they're going out this way, which means they don't go out. They come to the window and then I got to vacuum out of the window. I thought I heard it raining for a second. I was fixing to go out and roll my windows up. Got a little bit further. <laughs> I think once I get past that frame board, it's gonna be tough. I forgot to mention this guy's keeping the honey and the bees and the comb and everything. I'm setting it up on, in a box on his property. I'm gonna set them up back here in the back. They're coming and going on that side right now. We're gonna set them up back here, lock them in for two days, put some training wheels on his box. In two days, he can walk by and pull the cover off of it, let them fly. In two weeks, I'll come back over here and help him do his first inspection. And then after that, I'll push the bird out of the nest. Time to fly. Here we are now. We had to pull the furnace out. Cut out a bunch of comb. No end in sight. Looks like they go from this tank to that frame member or whatever that is over there. And all the way to the outer wall. I think I'm about to the end of the brood. I've been framing up brood. It's another brood, brood comb. Drone brood, we ain't gonna worry about it. And then it gets into straight honey from there on out, it looks like. Three good solid brood frames. That's the least of them. This camper is nasty to the max. George got in here and cut a little bit. He's the one that's going to be keeping it. Look at that. Look at the. Uh, look at that wire wrap over there. It's propolis. It's propolis in all the grooves of these wire wraps. There ain't a bee in sight, and I grabbed the only one there. cleaning up this hunt this hive was so honey loaded how many pots you reckon of comb we pulled out of here do you mind being on video or you care okay how many pots of comb we pull out of here eight maybe 12 
12. <laughs> I lost count of so many. There was so much honey in this camper. Uh, wasn't, no, wasn't any way to contain all that, so there's a puddle down there that I'm going to try to mop up. But what we don't get, we're going to leave that door open tomorrow, as well as this, we're going to open the screens on these windows. Because we had robbing going on for about the past hour. So, uh, neighborhood bees have found it. They'll clean it all out tomorrow, but if we leave all that puddle down there, there's already a, a bunch drowning in it. So we'll scoop out as much of that as we can. What we can't get, we'll let the robbers have it. Sun's about set. I'm just putting up tools right now. So I'm just gonna get a rag and get in there and sop up some of that honey. And then I'm gonna introduce these bees into that box. I probably won't record that. You've seen it before. What I'm gonna do is double box. I'll just show you the setup. Double box, bottom's empty. These are all framed brood comb. The other five are brand new uh, wax foundations. So I'll take this box off, dump the bees in the bottom, throw that one on real quick. Have the entrance blocked off, put a feeder lid on it, which is somewhere. Keep a feeder on them for the two days they're locked up, and then today's Tuesday, Thursday night, turn them loose. And it's September 8th, and goldenrod is just starting to show a little bit down here. But you just act like you're cutting his hair. And then all of a sudden, I'm going to come up like this, and I'm going to go, whoa, or something. What am I going to say? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right with you. What am I going to say? I'll wait. I don't know, but we got customers coming in, so we got to make it quick. I'm enjoying it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> Getting my hair touched up, enjoying some Tootsie Rolls. Got to head out to Ford Davis to get me some parts from my truck this afternoon. What are you doing? You know this ain't gonna work for one reason. What? It's not recording? No, he's recording. Audio in the background. What's playing? Yeah.